Hi, good morning. Uh, Hank Fister here. We're at Stockdale Country Club in Bakersfield, and we're going to talk about the half volley today. What's the difference between the volley, the low volley, and the half volley? Try to give you some tips on how to handle that tough shot. Everything changes when the half volley comes into play. Things that you're going to do, as soon as you realize it's a half volley, you may even be in the volley position, and then you're going to drop the racket head below your hand, and you're going to fix this wrist. It's going to walk up. And the only thing that's going to move on a half volley is the shoulder. So you're going to drag this racket through, all follow through. So I'm going to set the, the racket down below my wrist with almost no take back, and it's going to be complete follow through that you're going to concentrate on. And when I do this, I'm going to close the face slightly, because this ball as it comes down and hits the court, it's going to come up. And what most people do is, they see this ball, they open the face up, and they try to slice the half volley. And that's like two ships passing in the night. You got your string bed going like this, the ball's going like this, and you get a pop-up at best, and you get your partner killed if you're in doubles and in singles, you end up getting passed uh, on the next shot. So the key is, keep the strings perpendicular to the bouncing ball, the ball's gonna hit the ground, it's gonna come up, and you have to get your strings in this position, and then you drag the racket and follow through. Okay, we're gonna... And the single most important thing on this is you've got to get sideways. So when I see this ball come, you should be sideways anyway as much as you can on your volley, so you should be heading that direction. So when I'm getting it sideways, I see this ball come in, and if it's a half volley, sorry, Todd. Okay, I backed up for that, but hopefully, these would be volleys, a little shorter, there you go. That's the half volley. Eyes down, drop the racket, drag it. I'm hitting every one of these things cross court. If, if it bounces, comes up, you can turn it into a ground stroke. And you'll notice I'm catching this ball right off the ground. Just like a shortstop would pick up a ball in baseball, if I see it out in front of me a little bit, I'm gonna come towards it and try to get as close as I can to the ball. The further away I am, it becomes uncomfortable. It's not really a pickup anymore. And it gets somewhere between a half ball and a ground stroke, and that can get confusing. So when I see this ball up front, I'm gonna come up to it, pick it up, and just get sideways every time. And if I can, I'm gonna volley that ball. If it hangs a little bit, I'm gonna come in and push that ball out of the air, if I can. There's your half. I should have volleyed that. And you always go cross court with a half volley. If you're playing singles and this person has hit the return to serve in the deuce side and they're starting to move into the open court, even though they're still on that side, you go back with a four and a half volley that direction because you can get it there quick, keep it low, and penetrate the court before they can stop, turn around, and get a good, sh good shot off. And of course, right after you hit that, you're gonna follow your ball to that side of the court to prepare for the passing shot. If you try to lift this ball up into the open court, it has a tendency to sit up, the person has a chance to run to it. Even though you're keeping the ball in front of you, they can get that ball and go cross court or down the line. You have a much better chance of picking this ball up cleanly, quick cross court, and making sure that person can only go middle or side down the line. Now in today's game, most people run over there with westerns, and they're on the run. If they have to stop, turn around, go back, that ball's gonna go down the line anyway. All right, let's talk about the backhand volley now. Everything is exactly the same. You're gonna be hitting regular volleys. Let's hit some regular volleys. So I'm making my shoulder turn, stepping through the ball. If I'm going down the line, especially, I'm gonna really get turned on that ball. And then at some point, that ball's gonna get down on the ground where I'm gonna have to hit a half volley. And so you'll see that I'm getting turned. I'm fixing the racket. And it's a no, this is the toughest part, is this is a no change grip. So I've got this volley here, here. This is not a comfortable situation to roll the wrist out and get the face closed, but you can practice it and you can become proficient at it. So you get to the point where you realize how much close you need on the strings, you fix it, and you drag it with the shoulder. Head's obviously very still, you turn sideways. Regular volley, half volley.
again, if it gets up in front of you, you step up and take it on the rise. If it, you can volley it, you step in and volley it and push it deep in the corner. Same principles on the backhand half volley as the forehand half volley. When you, when you teach that half volley to a two-hander, do you think they should be trying to hit it with two hands? Oh, absolutely. Like, I'll serve and volley, and I'm coming in ready to volley. You know, and it's getting lower, 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 and then at that last second, I'm going to let it bounce. Yeah. But I'm already You're two -handed, here. You're a two-handed backhand? Yeah. yeah but I'm coming good. in, I'm, I'm getting ready to volley like this. So it's yeah. like, I don't feel, I feel like I'm going to always do that. And, it, and it feels so weak. It, if you have the hands for it, do it. If not, then put the six, slide the hand down and pick it up two-handed. Try to, when you see that ball in that awkward spot, get into here. Yeah, I, 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 would, I, I would tell my students, once the ball drops, it's more of a restricted ground stroke. Yeah. It's a limited take back ground stroke. It's not really a volley anymore. So when you get your students to train playing on the baseline, rallying and warming up on the baseline, and they're doing pickups, getting turned sideways, and they're picking the ball up across the line of the court, doing the same here, they're getting down picking the ball up along the cross court and then they're ready to scoot in on anything short and take it quick instead of being behind the baseline all the time. They already know this shot. Yeah. So then they come in and they're getting ready to volley. You get to here and the ball gets down. They can just they can just drop that thing and pick it up cross court and then come back to the volley yeah, once they get that off. The idea is to, tr is to get your hands fast enough and to get used to going, taking the ball on the rise and so there's a certain comfort and uh, so I want you to just serve either side of me. You don't have to tell me which side it is. And you can start out medium and you can speed it up and we'll, we'll see how I do. Now my job is to try to get my backhand into that side of the court, my forehand into that side of the court. And so I probably haven't done this in 10 years, so I'm done. And you'll see that for the most part, I'm getting this ball and I'm not late. So the, the key is you've got to learn not to move. It's the same we do this drill at the net. You teach the players, you don't move until your brain says, oh, that's a backhand or oh, that's a forehand. And you rely on your hands to be quick enough. If you twitch or fudge the wrong way, you're never going to get the other way. Can go harder? Can go a little harder. So you get quick at this, and then you scoot back to here, and you, you try to get somebody to take the ball early, and this shot's not too tough anymore. I can step into this ball and make that shot all day. As long as my back swings, oh, that's a good shot, body line. Long, go to my forehand so I can show the back swing. You'll notice the racket is basically going to go straight up the side, and it's all follow through. There's really not much take back. The same on the back end. You're just trying to hit, concentrate on the follow through and not be late. Get the ball off of you. Racket's already on that side. So it's easy to pull that ball down there. Body line's a tough shot. It's a good serve. Good shot. I played the forehand side my whole life, so that shot kind of is an automatic reaction for me. I don't even think about that ball. So that's, that's a drill to do to try to get the hands quicker, learn how to stay through the ball off both sides, get the ball on your opponent as quickly as possible. That oh, yeah, it's a big, big advantage. Yeah, if you got to, that's the, the, that's, that's, that's the crime in today's game is these two-handers got this stuff. I mean, a two-hander can just stand here like this and just wait, if it comes here, they can just take that ball and go bang, and they can pull that ball down in there, and it's done. For a guy like me with an old continental grip, you know, trying to keep that wrist strong and do that, that's a lot tougher. Two-handers, you know, they just, right here, boom, click, and on this side, they just turn like this, and you just step in, and boom, pull that thing down in there. This person doesn't have a chance to get over on a pulled backhand like that. Oh the ball's God. actually going away from them. Yeah.
That was an awesome video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I want to say a big thanks to Hank for uh, lending his time to give you guys some tips. Yeah, and we had just an amazing time down in Bakersfield hanging out with Hank. He's a legend. Yeah. We learned so much about his um, teaching and his playing and a lot about tactics, which you'll probably be seeing some more videos from him in the future. And also we plan on bringing uh, new other players, other pros like him into the future videos so that we can expand on what we give you guys. So thanks you guys. We'll see you on the next one.